Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Jessica. And for those of you who are not new, I probably still need to tell you my name is Jessica because it's been about a month or two since I've uploaded. So I'm sorry, I'm not gonna give any excuses. Basically just life and work took priority over filming. So I just am gonna jump right into it because I have a massive Sephora haul. These are products I've been collecting since the VIB sale. I just haven't filmed since then. And I've been kind of collecting, you know, buying one thing here or there. And so basically this is huge. I'm not gonna talk in depth on each product. So if you want to know a little bit more information about one specific item, just comment below and I can do an in-depth review or maybe talk about it a little bit further in future videos. So let's jump right into it. Most of these products I have already used because I've had them for so long. So I can also give a little mini review. The first product I have is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Primer. I love this. I've used it every single day since I bought it. And I bought this during the VIB sale. It's just, it's awesome. It pretty much combines pore filling with luminizing and they put it together. I'd always wondered why there isn't a product like that. And then Dr. Brandt came out with this and it's just amazing. I wouldn't say if you have huge pores and that's your primary concern that I would buy this for that reason. But if you want a little bit of both of those features, then this is the perfect product. So as you can see, it comes out, it's not too thick like most silicone pore filling primers and it's not too thin like most luminizing primers. It's perfectly in the middle. I have been loving this. Next is from a brand that recently launched on Sephora. It's called Pretty Vulgar Cosmetics. This is called Writing on the Wall Eyeliner Pencil. I got mine in the color 48, which is their brown color. I'm still searching for the perfect creamy dark brown or black eyeliner that will stay on my waterline. I have contacts and it always comes off of my contacts or it just never stays. So I only used this one once and it was the one of the creamiest eyeliners I've ever used and the pigmentation looks amazing. But when it went on the waterline, it looked very pigmented, but already when I was done doing my makeup, I felt like I had to touch up again. So I'm gonna have to use this a little bit longer, but if you guys have tried it, or if you have any recommendations for something will, that will last my waterline, please comment below because I feel like I've tried everything. This is the Smash, Smash. This is the Smashbox B Legendary Liquid Metal Lipstick. And this, I'm not sure about this. I feel like it irritated my lips when I used it, but, and that's the other thing, you can barely get it out of the packaging. It's just this beautiful, neutral, corally, metal looking lip gloss. And I like the applicator because it has a little pointy end and the color is beautiful. It adds a really cool pop without being too much effort because it's a gloss. But uh, the formula is kind of that sticky, tacky, like taffy formula where when you put it on and then you put your lips together and come apart, it almost does that stringy thing. It kind of reminds me of taffy. You know what I'm talking about? So it does that and I don't like that. I feel like because of that texture, I might be returning this because I used it once or twice and both times I had that weird feeling and it just like weirded me out. Love the color, love how it looks, but I don't like the texture. This is a repurchase for me. This is the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. I have that on today. That's all I have. That's all I have on my lashes today. And this is probably my favorite mascara. I think I had this in my yearly favorites. I go between this one and the Chanel, like Volume Day Chanel mascara. Wand is really cool because it's a little bit smaller on the inside and a little bit wider on the end. So I feel like it really gets the outer corner and inner corner. And it doesn't transfer on my upper lid, which the Chanel one can do that. This one doesn't. So I just feel like it gives, it's the best mascara if you want volume, length, and lasting all day without it getting all over your face. Love this. Next is a Makeup Forever brow gel. I love how Makeup Forever has been coming out with new products, new brow products lately. This one is in the color 15, and I was I had high hopes for this because you guys know, or if you know and you've been watching my channel, the NYX brow mascara is my jam. So I was hoping maybe I could get something that would, I could switch it up and try something different. It's a squeezy tube, which is really cool, and you can see that it comes with little fibers. And the wand is really unique because one end is tall as you can see on the top and then the bottom end is shorter. What I like to do is use the longer end to start and kind of comb my hairs up and it actually creates little tiny brush stroke hairs on your eyebrow. So it's really cool because it almost mimics 
not quite what a pencil could do, but it gives you a little bit of that effect. And then if you really want to add and deposit more color towards the root, you can switch it and do the shorter end. So I really like the brush. I think it's really unique and this sets this product apart from a lot of other products out there right now. And the color is also great. It's very, very similar to the NYX uh, Brow Mascara and Blonde. It's a nice neutral shade. It maybe isn't as cool as that one, but I love my taupey brow gels. I have the NYX one on right now. I should have put this on today, dang it. But long story short, I actually, after all those good things I'm raving about it, I think I might return it because it doesn't set your brow hairs in place. It just feels soft afterwards. So if that's what you want, then I think you're gonna love this product because it's, it quickly fills in the brows and does it with that awesome brush, but it doesn't set them in place when I brush them up. Where my next one, it deposits color and sets them in place without being too crunchy. So that's why I went back to my NYX brown mascara and blonde over this one. If you guys like everything about it and you don't mind that it doesn't set them in place, then I'd say go for it. But if you want something that will set your hairs in place and stay there, this is not the product. All right, I kind of really had been wanting to try some cushion foundations. So I actually purchased two different ones. First one is the Sephora Wonderful Cushion Foundation. This is in the color cream or 20. And I think this is beautiful. I saw on their website they were 50% off. I got this for around $11. So I think that they're discontinuing it. That's why it's on sale. But it's just a really beautiful, lightweight cushion foundation. I mean, there's nothing that completely sets it apart from other products but I feel like it gives you a nice light to medium. If you really want to build it up, you could build it a little bit. Light to medium coverage, so it's really nice for the summer. And I felt like for $11, getting a cushion foundation was a really good deal. So I will be using this, and I really, really like it. I hope that they don't discontinue it. And then I had purchased the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Cushion. Yeah, butcher that. I was a little bit more sunless tanned at the moment when I purchased it, so I got 260 Bisque. And I don't know if it's the color or what, but I felt like it gave me the most beautiful glow and luminosity to my skin while also giving a light coverage. I don't think this one is as buildable as the Sephora one, but it, they're pretty similar. So, and again, it's just beautiful. Look, look at this packaging. The gold with the black, I mean, sucker for that standard cushion foundation and this one is a little bit i'll swatch it next to the sephora one this one is a tiny bit darker so i like this one so much that i went and purchased it in my in a lighter shade when i have no sunless tan i got 210 buff and for some reason i didn't like this one as much so i don't know if when i'm not as tan the light to medium coverage, you know, the formula, I don't like it as much because I don't have sunless tanner on. I'm not sure, but I didn't love this one as much as this one. And overall, these are great, but for the price, I would say go for the Sephora cushion if you are wanting a cushion and you can still get your hands on it. I got mine online. Right, I used a point perk on one of my orders. This is a Marc Jacobs Enamored High Shine Lip Gloss in the color 346 Ra Ra. I was pretty shocked they had these. I thought this was an awesome point perk. This color is so nice. It's like a really pretty pinky peachy color. And I feel like it's just really good for on the go or if you're at the beach, you wanna throw this in your beach bag. And it's just really, really nice. So I was pretty happy. Sometimes they don't always have the best point perks, but this one I was like, yes. Oh, and then I got my birthday. Finally, my birthday was in February and I still hadn't picked up my birthday gift from Sephora, which shows you how long I hadn't gone shopping. So. I don't feel guilty about everything I have going on in this situation here. We got a Tarte lip paint in the color birthday suit. And this one is, ooh, this one kind of look good with what I'm wearing now. It's kind of definitely a mauve color with a pink undertone to it. And I thought that was cute. Again, it's little, but for free. Thank you, Sephora, I love that. And then I got the Tarte blush in Parte. Parte? A really nice mauve pinky shade, which goes perfectly with the lip paint. So if you haven't gotten your birthday gift, go to Sephora and pick it up. And I also got a, I used, I've been kind of hoarding my points at Sephora because I feel like I'm not gonna use them unless they're legit worth using them, you know? So I saw that they had, I don't know if they still have this, but they ended up having a 500 point perk they added from Dior and I was like, yes, look how cute this is. Hopefully they still have it so you guys can get it if you want. But there were a few things in here and one is, I normally hate getting makeup bags or cosmetic bags, but look how cute this is. It's this 
little pink round your bag that I thought would be perfect for traveling or even putting in your purse. I mean, this is so cute. The pink with the raised Dior and the black zipper. Inside has those cute little uh, CD Christian Dior symbols. And then the products are inside. I don't even remember what's in here. Okay, we got a perfume, the Miss Dior Absolutely Blooming. I'll have to try that out. Then we got a little, holy, this is tiny. Do you see how small this is? Like what? But it's super cute. The Lip Maximizer and Collagen Active, that sounds promising. It's a nice, super light pinky color. Ooh. It looks almost like nothing. Yeah, pretty much like a sheer lip gloss, but I mean, this is really cute, and if it's gonna plump your lips at all, I'm down to try that. And you got their Dior Mascara, also good for travel, and the Dream Skin Advanced Serum, so I'll have to give this a try. I've been really getting into the brand Drunk Elephant. I've been loving some of their products. This is the Drunk Elephant Lippy Moisturize Plus Volumize. This is Man Mangongo Man Man Nut Oil. I don't know what that is. Avocado seed oil and peptides. When you look at the ingredients, they look fantastic. I have allergies to certain things in products. I haven't figured out what it is yet, but sometimes I can get where my lips get bumpy and raised and they can swell and I've had the issue for about a year now. And so I'm, I've been to the allergist, I'm trying to, I'm figuring it out and I'm getting tests done, but this is not, so far, aggravated my lips. I love how it's in a stick form, but it's thick so you can easily slap it on. Really, when I'm just home bumming around without makeup on, I whip this on and before bed I throw it on and it tastes really nice, but it's not, not fragrance. It just feels like a really good natural lip product and I really like it. Next is a repurchase for me. This is during the Sephora VIB sale. So whenever I can get uh, skincare products at a discount, I usually take advantage of it. I didn't even need this yet. I actually still haven't even used this because I'm still using up my other bottle that's in my bathroom. But this is the Sunday Riley Luna Sleeping Oil. It has a little bit of retinol in it, um, but there's a lot of calming properties as well. So it's a really good oil if you want to incorporate a little bit of retinol. But it also is very calming and relaxing since it's an oil base. I use this every single night in my skincare routine. I love it. If you can get on a discount because this stuff is expensive, do it. Then, this is also repurchased for me, but I hadn't used this in a little while and I thought I would try to incorporate it back into my skincare and I'm so glad I got it. This is also from Sunday Riley. This is the Good Jeans All-in-One Lactic Acid Treatment. Now, um, if you have sensitive skin, usually lactic acid is a nice, uh, AHA to go with versus glycolic acid because the molecules are a little bit bigger. They tend to plump your skin more, sit on the surface a little bit more. This just, I noticed when I use this, my skin just looks glowing, plumper. Even though it has a very low pH, I think it has a 2.5 pH level, which is pretty low for a AHA or a lactic acid. It has a lot of other ingredients in it to really calm and soothe the skin. So I feel like it does a really good job of exfoliating and plumping. And I just really, really love this product. But one tip I would say is if you're using that, I used to go through this quickly because I felt like my skin just ate it and it wouldn't I couldn't cover my whole face unless I did at least a full pump or more, but I noticed if I hydrate my skin first with a toning spray or some type of hydrating water first and then put this on, it, I can use a lot less of it and you can extend the life and keep it a lot longer. Because again, this is a very expensive product, but love, these are my two, some of my two favorite Sunday Riley products. Another product I recently started incorporating in is this Clinique Moisture Surge. The Clinique, I think, just recently launched this product. And if you have dry skin or you need something that helps keep your skin hydrated all day long, this is amazing. This has little capsules of hyaluronic acid. And what it does is you pump it into your hand. I'm just going to do a tiny bit here. You pump it in, it's like a jelly-like consistency, and then when you rub it in, you feel those capsules kind of explode on your skin, and they literally, I feel like you can see your skin plump up and hydrate as you're rubbing it in. It smooths your skin, it helps keep my skin moisturized all day long. I'll even drag this down my neck and put it all on my chest, and I just, I really, really love it. It's my last step in my skincare. It's kind of turned into like, a mini skincare video. If you want me to do a full in-depth skincare video, I will do one, just let me know. This is the, I've been looking for a really good physical sunscreen. Uh, there's physical sunscreens and chemical sunscreens. And 
Basically, long story short, physical sunscreens reflect the sun's rays, so it's usually titanium dioxide or iron oxide, which reflect them off of your face, where chemical sunscreens absorbs the sun rays and it's chemical based. So some people have um, reactions to one or the other, depending on your skin type. So this is the Josie Marin Argon Daily Moisturizer. This is SPF 47. Why then you didn't just put 50, I don't know. But I really like this. I feel like for physical, physical sunscreens, you're gonna have an issue with that white you know, getting a white cast because that's the point is it's hitting your face and reflecting off of those uh, minerals. So it is a little bit of a white cast, but it's been the easiest one to actually blend in and with the other ingredients in it, it really gives a nice moisturizing feel to the skin. It blends in really, really nicely and I feel like it's done a great job of protecting my face when I do go out in the sun and use this. So I've been really, really liking this. All right, we're almost done. A few products left. I got another set using points. This might have been another 500 point perk. I told you, I accumulated my points and I was hoarding them. And then finally, I feel like Sephora's been stepping up their game. So I found this set from YSL. And one of them is their mascara, which I think I had used a while ago and I liked. But anytime I can get these, oh no, this says the Shock Mascara. Is this new? Have you guys tried this? Is this new? Please let me know. Ooh, and it looks like a really nice brush too. Okay, I'm excited to try this. And we're going on vacation in July, so maybe I like getting these smaller tubes. It's easier to travel with. Then also in it came the Touche Clap Blur Primer. I have a sample of, of this that I'm almost finished using, and it's really pretty. It has little gold speckles in it. It does a good job of, I feel like it pore fills nicely and really smooths out your skin. It's one of those that your skin feels really smooth after. So I like that. And then this lip product, I wasn't sure about this and I haven't worn it yet, but I swatched it and it's beautiful. This is number 52, Rouge Pure Couture. And it's the most beautiful summer, bright summer, pinky, corally shade. Oh, and it's super creamy. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to wear this. So I was pretty excited about that point perk as well. And then the last point perk I got, I think this was 100 points. This is from Hourglass Girl Lip Stylo. This is in the color Peacemaker. I've been seeing a lot of people talk about this. I think Hourglass sent out PR packages to a lot of the big beauty gurus. So they had, I've seen a lot of people talk about these. So I was actually excited to use 100 points to get this. I thought for Hourglass, that was a pretty good point perk. I like how it's a twist up pencil. It looked like a really beautiful nude neutral color it's very creamy but okay it's beautiful right it's hourglass it's a really beautiful color nice packaging but but when i wore it i wore it to work one day and i started getting the inner rim like butthole lips i wish there was another way to say that but it's true it started wearing off if it wasn't for that i would really like this product but i feel like for being Prestige, high end. I don't even know how much these full size ones are, but I would not, re I wouldn't purchase one because of how it wore off and it was kind of weird. But other than that, it was really pretty. Before I forget, on my lips, I'm wearing the Sephora Cream Lip Stain in the number 39. I wish they would put the actual color names on the bottom because it's on the packaging that you throw away and then you never remember what it's called. But 39, really love this color. And yeah. If you are still with me, that's amazing. I'm going to try to get back into it and upload more frequently. So if you guys have suggestions on some videos, please leave them below. I feel like I was kind of in a rut and I want to do more than just, you know, makeup hauls and favorites videos. All oh, those are my favorite to film. That's probably why I do so many of them. You know, my Instagram is mainly fashion. I'll link that below or put it right here. And I was thinking, why don't I ever do fashion stuff on my YouTube? Yeah, let me know what you would like to see because I want to kind of broaden my horizons on my channel. But thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a fabulous day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.